Hi everyone, my name is Derek Mikulski. I'm the founder of Active Motion Bar. I'm really excited to be delivering the Cardio One workout of our Ignite training program to you. Now with me today is Nicole and Lauren. They're gonna be helping me push you throughout this workout. Now, this workout's gonna be a little bit different than the ones you've done uh, in the other, work, in the other uh, programs. You're gonna be uh, instructed to kind of move continuously throughout this workout as opposed to being shown each exercise individually with lots of rest in between. You're gonna be moving, that's why it's the cardio program. We're gonna get started with a warm up, and we're gonna uh, finish with a cool down. That's how we're gonna roll today. You guys ready? All right, let's do it. Let's set the feet just outside the shoulders. We're gonna start with a really simple squat pattern. It's gonna be kind of a low intensity warm up and then we'll ramp it up from there. So hands down to the sides, chest up, back flat. You're gonna drive your weight back to your heels, push your hips back and squat. And we're gonna start right here and stand. Just a really simple squatting pattern. So during your squats, hopefully you know by this point, you're driving those hips back towards the floor. You're flexing your knees. You're keeping your chest up towards us the whole time. And you're just working. So we're gonna do a couple more squats here as we reach to the front. Now two more, here's one. Now on this next one, we're gonna hold it at the bottom. So let's squat and hold. Just hanging out here, just getting it warmed up. Make sure your knees are not caving in. The biggest thing I see as a fitness professional, people with weak glutes, their knees start to come in. Do your best to drive those knees apart during your squats. Your back will thank you and you'll develop more strength across your entire body. Now what I want you to do from here is take your hands and position them down on the floor. We're gonna step back into an easy plank position, okay? Just hang out here for a second, just warming up the body. Right here, I want you to focus on drawing your navel up. Draw your belly button up into the ceiling, contract your abdomen, squeeze your glutes. We're gonna be doing a lot of plank stuff today. This is gonna be good preparation for that. Now what I want you to do is take your right leg, uh, our right will be your left here, and lift it and then tuck the knee into the elbow and come back to center and repeat. We're just gonna move through this a few times now. So tuck, some of you might be familiar with the term mountain climbers. We're not doing it at a really, really fast pace here, but definitely similar to that exercise. So drive it in, a couple more times here. Now this will be our last one. Step back into your plank and then we're gonna come back to standing. Now from here, I want you to separate your feet just a little further apart than you did during those first squats. And uh, you guys don't have to move just yet. Let me show the people at home what we're gonna do first. You're gonna go down to your squat again, but this time you're gonna take one hand and reach across the body in the opposite direction. We're gonna incorporate some rotation here. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna reach across the body, and then we're gonna stand, and then we're gonna alternate sides. Ready? Let's do it. Start moving to our right, your left. Squat down, reach across the body and stand. Squat, reach and stand. Now let's move the pace up just a little bit. Squat, reach, stand. Squat, reach, get some good rotation through the thoracic spine. Try not to bend forward too much. Rotate from the spine here. Keep the weight on those heels. Chest stays up, back stays flat. This is gonna be our last little warm up exercise. We're gonna get right into the workout today. One more time. Squat, reach, and stand. Perfect. All right, you guys, I hope you're ready. Um, we have about 11 movements that we're gonna be doing during this, uh, this workout. Some of them are 30 seconds, some are 45, some are 60. We'll make sure to let you know. We're gonna start down on the floor here in a plank position. So make sure your active motion bar is turned face up. You got the white line showing so that you know where to put your hands. The first exercise, we're not gonna be really using the bar other than for reference. You guys can join me. Uh, go ahead and position your hands behind the white lines and we're gonna start the time right now. I want you to step up into your plank position. Bring your feet and your knees together. Squeeze your thighs tight so you feel those inner thighs activated. We're gonna stay here and what I want you to do is roll onto one side of your foot, drop those hips, and then come back to center. You guys ready? Let's go ahead and roll to one side, drop those hips back to center, and then go to the other side, drop those hips, come back to center. Hip tips is what we're calling this one. Drive it, keep the core engaged. Try to lift that navel. If you start to feel this too much in your low back, squeeze those glutes. Remember when I was telling you about the squats? Drive your knees apart, strong glutes, takes pressure off your low back. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abdomen. You guys have 15 seconds left right here. Drive it down, big lift up. Keep those feet and knees squeezed together the whole time. You got about nine seconds left here, big drives. Down and up, moving at your own pace. We have three, two, one and relax, nice job. Let's come straight up, you guys. Grab your active motion bars. 
Set those feet at shoulders width. We're gonna get right into a squat with a front reach. You guys can just start by joining me right now, okay? Let's squat and reach and stand. Perfect, squat, reach, stand. Now we have the active motion bar in hand. Remember, during these movements where we're keeping the bar parallel, you wanna try to keep the weight in the bar quiet and centered. Easier said than done. I know, you're always gonna feel that weight shifting. That's okay. Just try to keep it as stable as you can. Remember, this is one of our squats. Drive those knees apart at the bottom. Keep your bar nice and level and stand. We are halfway there, you guys. If those shoulders start to get tired, I'm gonna show you a modification right now. If you can keep going like this, I want you to. But if those shoulders get tired, you might wanna add just like a little bicep curl into it. Okay, that's all right too. But if you can push through the whole thing, I want those arms extended, load the back, Try to keep that bar level. I know every time I come up, my bar is not exactly perfectly parallel. That's okay. That's all the great benefits of the active motion bar working for you there. Here's three, two, one, and relax. All right, go ahead and put your active motion bar down. Next is a side plank exercise. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start on one side. It doesn't matter which side you start on because uh, we're gonna switch halfway through anyways. 30 seconds. We're gonna lift up into a side plank, so why don't you guys go ahead and join me. Lift up right now. Hand on the hip, and we're gonna start right now. Drop the hips and lift. Drop and lift. Hip lifts now, instead of from the front plank, we're just in the side plank. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. Big deep breaths. About 10 seconds left here on this side. Drop and lift. Drop and lift, feeling those obliques working. Oh my God, two, one, quick rest. Just enough time to switch sides, you guys. Let's move. Whew. Stack those feet, top hand on the hip, or it can be up top if you like here. And let's go ahead and begin. Lift up off the floor, and lower, and lift. Make sure you're breathing. It's kind of hard when you're moving at a faster pace like this to catch your breath. So during these movements that have less physical movement involved, you want to be using this as an opportunity to kind of reinstate that calm, even strong breath that we all have. We have three seconds left here. Big lifts, two, one, and relax. Excellent work, you guys. All right, we're going to come back up to standing. Little more involved movement here, so we are going to take a little time to explain it. Hands are on the white lines. I'm going to show you first before you get started. With the active motion bar, we're gonna begin by setting it off to one side of our body. We're gonna set it off to our right side. You can do it to your left. This is gonna involve a lateral lunge, so we're gonna step out to one side. As I step out, my bar is gonna swing up and around, and then I'm gonna let that knee flex while the side that is uh, on the floor opposing me remains static, and then back up top. You guys got it? All right, so let's start by moving to our left, go ahead and begin. Big drive, and then swing it back down. Now what we're doing right here is you wanna feel the weight shift dynamically in your active motion bar. So we bring it around, bam, and you feel that weight hit. You really feel all those core muscles activating, right? And try to create that rhythm. Let that weight in the bar shift as we create this fully integrated movement. Big drive. Let's do one more, you guys. Last one. Big swing, big lift, drive. Perfect. Switch sides. Offset bar, feet start together. Now we're doing the exact same movement pattern in the other direction. Let's do it. Big swing, lift, and back down. Big swing, lift, and back down. Now you guys keep going. I'm going to show you a little bit of a modification. If you need to, you have your arms more in front of your body than you do overhead. Okay, this is a good place to modify. You can also take your lunge at a little lower depth. But if you can, let's reach and arc and get those big dynamic functional movements going. Two, one, and relax. Nice work. Let's get back down on the floor. I know this is a lot of down and up. So bar is gonna be positioned on the floor. We're not really using it for anything other than a reference. I want you to lie all the way down in your stomach. Get those arms extended out in front. With me right now, I want you to lift off the floor. We're gonna start right now. Lift and hold, perfect. Now what I want you to do is pull everything in 
Drive those hands to the floor, push up, back down, lift and hold for three, two, one. Drive everything in, push up and back down and hold for three, two, one. Everything in, drive up, down, hold. Three, two, one. Back in, up, down and hold for longer this time. <laughs> Little curveball there. Hold, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the back. Keep your shoulders depressed. I don't want those shoulders starting to get towards those ears. Drive it down and let's pull in, drive up and hold it here, you guys. Another little curveball. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze the abs. Let's come back down. One more big hold here. Max out the time. Eight seconds left. Hold. Big breaths. Keep those shoulders down. Backside is engaged. Two, one, and relax. Nice work. Grab your active motion bar, let's stand tall. This is going to involve us beginning with the hands on the white lines, okay, bar at the chest. And all I want you to do, you guys can join me right away, we're gonna start now. Lift the right leg, or your left, and then opposite side. Try to follow us and sink here. Knee to chest, keep the bar level. Now right away, here's what we're gonna do. Continue with your march, but extend the arms to keep the bars out front here. This is where you're really gonna feel that resistance in the active motion bar, challenge your balance. Challenge your shoulder strength, all great stuff. Now let's continue our march, but bring the bar overhead and continue from right here. Active motion bar stays overhead, deep breaths. Now what I want you to do is bring the bar back down in front, take a little break here, keep it out in front. Now let's start with our right leg, your left, extend the knee straight, lift and back to center. And let's go for it now right here. A little more intense marching variation. Try to lift your toe over that bar every time. Big dynamic stretch across the hamstrings here. Try to keep level, keep stable. Five seconds left. Here's four, three, two, one. All right, nice work. Your shoulders are gonna be on fire here because we're gonna do another pretty intense shoulder uh, and lower body exercise. We're gonna keep the hands on the white lines. You guys, bring your feet together, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you real quick first. The arms are gonna be extended. You're gonna step back for a reverse lunge. Tip the bar 90 degrees. Back to center. Opposite side does the exact same thing. 60 seconds. You guys ready? All right, get those arms extended and let's go. Back, tip, center. Back, tip, center. Nice work, you guys. Perfect. Keeping that heart rate up. Now, you guys continue. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a modification. If you need to, remember, you can keep that bar closer to your body. The more straight your arms are, the harder it gets. So find what variation works for you and get to it. Keep breathing, chest stays up, back stays flat. You should be driving off of that lead heel every time. Another way to modify this one if you need to is taking your lunges a little a little higher, so not necessarily moving into full knee flexion, maybe just halfway down. 13 seconds to go, big drives, keep that chest tall. You should be feeling this in your back too as that weight shifts, pulls on your body. Here's three, two, one, and nice job. Let's get that bar back down to the floor. Now we're gonna position it this time under our chest and we're gonna put our hands over the bar. Okay, so you guys can all get there. And now what I want you to do with me is lift up into your plank position and we're gonna start the time right now. Lift up into the plank and hold. Now what I want you to do is take your right knee, drive it in with me, touch your bar. Bring it back, other side, drive it in, touch. Bring it back, alternate sides. Slow, methodical, this is not cranking it out as fast as you can, you guys. You need to be controlling this. Work through it, squeeze those abs every single time. Keep that heart rate up and keep working. We have 30 seconds left. Big drive. Now let's pick up the pace slightly. Bring it in and out, in and out, in and out. Maintain that speed. Keep those abs engaged. Slight rounding in your back here as you're keeping those abs tight the whole time. A few seconds left, big drives. Here we go, five, four, three, two, 
One, and relax. Nice work. All right, whew, I'm getting hot in here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and come back up. To this time, um, we're gonna do a seated kayak movement. This is a pretty challenging exercise. More abdominal work, let's not waste any time. We're gonna sit down on our backside this time. We're gonna grab our active motion bar on those white lines. And for this movement, it's gonna be what dynamic tipping and tilting. So here's what we're gonna do. Set your feet on the floor, a little bend in those knees, lean back to where you start to feel your abs activate. Okay, it's right about here for me. Everyone, I want you to extend your arms straight out front, and I want you to rotate to your left side. Start right now. Back to the other side. Perfect. This is our seated kayaker. Big rotations. Don't let your end caps touch the floor. You should be rotating and reaching behind your body, letting the weight shift. Pretty dramatic tip of your bar. So it's not at a slight angle, you're really reaching backwards during this kayak. Or now, a lot of times your shoulders are starting to get tired. Remember our rule, you can pull those arms in right here, which some of us might have to go down to if we're getting a little tired, okay? But if you can, you have 20 seconds left. I want you to keep those abs engaged, keep those arms straight, reach and rotate. Big, dynamic movements here. Keep the chest following the bar the entire time. Here's three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, let's stand up. One last, really more intense exercise before we finish up with something that's gonna lead us into the cool down. We're gonna do an ice skater. I want you to start hinged over with your feet together. Okay, arms extended down. What you're gonna do, you guys don't have to work just yet. I'm gonna show the people at home. We're gonna step back with one foot and then you're actually gonna rotate with the bar to the opposite side that just stepped back. And then you're gonna come back to center and we're gonna alternate sides. Sound like a plan? All right, let's start moving to our right. Your left at home, let's begin. Step back, rotate, center, other side. Back, rotate, center. Back, rotate, center. Nice work. Dynamic movements here, trying to really incorporate that rotation. Try not to break the exercise up either. As you step back, you should be rotating. It's all integrated. Big rotation. Let's try to pick up the pace just slightly now, you guys, okay? Slightly pick up, good, nice. Excellent work. Feel that weight in the bar, shift dynamically. Challenge your backside, challenge your shoulder stability. Big step back, good. Almost there, we have about 15 seconds to go. Big reach, just like you're sticking that end cap of your bar into the ceiling. Hopefully none of you have done that yet. Big rotation. Here we go, two, one, and relax. Nice job, okay. Last movement. Let's step back to the back of our mats, you guys, and then let's bring the bar off to our right, your left side. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you the movement first. This one is a little less intense. It's gonna lead us nicely into our stretch. We're gonna step forward with the leg opposite to the side holding the bar. We're gonna let that knee flex while the other leg stays straight. The bar is gonna come down as our hand lifts and reaches forward. We're creating spinal decompression. I'm reaching forward this way while pushing my butt back that way. And then I come back up and we repeat. Sound good? All right, let's start by moving ahead with our left, your right. Let's do a step forward. Let the knee flex, let the bar drop down. Big reach, and we are gonna hold it here. And then bring it back up. Let's do it again. Step forward, big reach. Now you guys, drive that knee outward. Drive that knee outward, hold, and lift back up. One more time, big dynamic stretch. Reach forward, bar lowers the floor. Big, 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 big reach. And lift back up. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Nice work. Opposite side's working now. Hand drops to the floor, other leg lunges forward. Let's do it. Step forward, hand comes down, and reach. We're gonna hold it here. Drive that knee out, load that heel. Let's step back. Again, drive it out. Big reach forward, holding it here, staying strong. Driving it up. One more time. Good one. 
forward, reach, and lunge forward. Create that decompression, reach forward, push those hips back at the same time, and come back up to the top. Whew, excellent job, you guys, good work. Let's put our active motion bars down and get in a little bit of a stretch here now, all right? So hope you enjoyed that cardiovascular workout. Pretty intense, as you can see, uh, I was struggling a little bit as well, which is good. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start by bringing our feet all the way together. Okay, start with a really simple hamstring stretch. Chest stays up big. We can maintain that strong back as, as you form that big chest. And let's lean forward. Try to keep the knees slightly flexed here, but really make sure you still feel a good pull behind the legs. And come down to where you're able to. Okay, so for some of us, it might be all the way to the floor, for some it might be the toes, and for some, it might be right here. You'll improve, just like a muscle grows stronger over time through resistance training, your muscles will also adapt, adapt with uh, more elasticity the more you stretch. So, really important stuff, big stretch here. A couple more breaths. And now what I want you to do is come up tall. And I want you to uh, stagger your feet. Let's, we're gonna start with our right leg in front. You're gonna start with your left. Back leg remains straight. Front leg is flexed. We're gonna take both hands, bring them to the floor on the inside of that lead foot and hold it here. Now again, if you can't make it to the floor because you have really tight hips, you might wanna hang out up here. But if you can, try to at least come to your fingertips down here. Okay, most of you guys should be able to get there. Palms are great. Elbows are even better if you can get there. I definitely can't. I'm not even gonna try. But Nicole can, it's awesome, so can Lauren. Nice work, you guys. So hold it here. Now remember, straighten that back leg. Keep that back leg straight. Push those hips into the floor. And why don't we just go ahead and switch sides at your own pace. Okay, so let's come up. And we're gonna switch sides. Same exact thing, other side. Don't worry if you didn't just stretch the same side as we did. We're doing both anyways. So your choice again, hands, kind of forearms resting on the thigh or elbows all the way to the floor. I'm good here. Drive those hips into the floor. Knee stays straight. <sighs> Try to do as best as you can to not to round your thoracic spine. So what I don't want to see is you know, a lot of curvature in that spine. I want you to try to remain extended. And when you flatten that back out and drive that hip in the floor, that's when you're going to feel that great stretch across your quadricep. Let's go ahead and stand up, you guys. Nice work. One more stretch we have here. I'm sure you felt a lot of those movements in your shoulders. Let's just go ahead and give them a little stretch. Let's start. Reach out with uh, your left, our right, bring it across the body and pull it in. Now a lot of times you see people kind of aimlessly doing this stretch, some key pointers to make sure that you're getting at the right muscles is to remain depressed in your shoulders. That means no shrugging. So depressed shoulders, big chest, pull it in, and now you're in a pretty solid position to stretch out the deltoid. And if you kind of make a conscious effort to reach your arm out further that way, you're also getting some of those muscles that stabilize the glenohumeral joint which are your rotator cuff muscles. And that's a good thing too. Okay. And let's go ahead and drop it down. Switch sides, same thing. Depress the shoulders, pull across. If you're ready to, you can extend that elbow and reach a little further. Stretch out the, the rotator cuffs as well as the deltoids here. One more big deep breath. And we're gonna come down and we're gonna shake it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. It was pretty intense, cardio one. Now, cardio two is even more intense. Depending on where you're at in the Ignite program, you're, you're, uh, well, you're gonna be there quick either way, right? Because you're only doing this one for four weeks. But hope you had a great time. Uh, next time you do the workout, try to visit some of those progressions or do them for a longer period of time. That's how you're gonna escalate your fitness and escalate your results. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.